Hey guys, today we're going to make a dynamic date period filter in Power BI, where we take today's date as the baseline and add and minus 30 days. So we have a range of 60 days. And to do that, we need to add a new filter in our table. And we start by pressing new column. And as you can see, we get a new column here and we need to give it a name. And in this case, I'm going with period filter. And then we need to define three variables. The first one is our row date, which is um, value and our evaluation date. And then we need to add a start date and an end date. And our start date is today, minus 30 days. And our end date is today, plus 30 days. Then we have a range of 60 days that are relevant. And finally, we need to return some values depending on the evalu evaluation. And to do that, we add return and an if statement and an and statement because we have two criteria we need to evaluate. And the first one is the row date against the start date. And the second one is the end date against the um, sorry, uh, the row date against the uh, end date, of course. And now we only need to specify the values that should be returned depending on whether it's true or false. And in this case, I'm going with relevant and not relevant because it makes it a bit more understandable for if another user wants to, to use this filter or update it if needed. So now we have added a dynamic filter based on today's date, and we can use it in our reporting. Uh, for example, we can put it here in the drill through and keep it as a filter. And now we can just filter out all the irrelevant dates. And we can see we now have the range here that we are interested in. And, but if we want to make this filter available for the end user, we can also just add it as a normal slicer and put it up here. And now the end user can choose whether or not to have shown all the data or just the defined data in this case. Mm -hmm. 